therapeutic <laughs> fragrance oil, okay? So it's a rose oil and it's supposed to be soothing. So it just says to um, add a few drops in there. Just one, one to two drops. One eternity later. Okay, so what I noticed is that none of these actually tell you like how long to put the face mask to leave the face mask on for. So this is what I'm with. I'm gonna leave it on for let's say ten minutes. Leave it off for 10 minutes, come kind of wash it off, and let you guys know what I think about it. So, we'll just see how it goes from there. Alright, you guys. So, um, so, it has been 10 minutes, and I'm just going to wash this off my face and tell you guys what I think about it.
So the base mask is good, all right? There's a lot of things, well, a few things that like I would change about it. First of all, I would like, you know, recommend them to put a time for like how long to keep it on or whatever because that's what most face masks like tell you on there. But um, it smells good. It doesn't like harden on your face. It is very, very, very moisturizing. The um, raw shea butter, it is so moisturizing. Oh my gosh, I had some on my hands and I washed my hands with soap and water, soap and warm water. And my hands still felt so soft and like it was still on there. When I was washing it off my face with the face mask, it didn't feel like I had washed anything off of my face. And that's why I had to keep like getting up and checking to see because like my face felt so smooth. Like like there was still the face mask on there, but it's actually the shade butter. So I would probably the next time I used it, I probably wouldn't put so much um in there. I think I put like a table no, I put like a half a tablespoon in there. So I'd probably cut that down some more. Um but also like when I make this again, I won't follow the instructions and use how much it tells me to because like I was, as I was making it, I was like, this looks like it's gonna make a lot. But then again, I wasn't really sure. So I just made it the way the instructions told me to make it. But next time I would like cut back some, like instead of doing one and a half tablespoons, I would just do a half a tablespoon um, or even one tablespoon. Um, but I don't know if I said this right, but it smells very good. The rose was so soft and like it wasn't overpowering, it was subtle. Um, the face mask was very moisturizing, okay? Like now, I would not even go and try to bother putting um, a moisturizer on my face. This is how moisturized my face is right now. Um, for it being a mud mask, it goes on very smooth and it doesn't crack on your skin. I think it's such a great idea to put, um, to be able to add other stuff in there so it has like its own scent and you have that moisture in there as well. So I think that was good. And the raw shea butter, it was so, so good, so good. But the only thing with um, both of these containers is that they don't fill it up all the way. So it's like, this one, it looks like I've had it and used it for everyone. I literally just opened it. So I'm like, you guys can actually fill it up. But I mean, it is what it is. Cause it was only, it was literally only, I think it's like $2.99 or something like that. And the same for this one, like it has this big old gap. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I mean, it's not bad. I would most definitely buy other ones. And this mask is actually for um, face and body. So if you want to use it on your legs or like on your arms or your hands or whatever, you can do that. And I really have some for hair and stuff like that. So, you know, we're most definitely going to look into that and try that for sure. Um, but I mean, I would rate it's a thumbs up, two thumbs up, okay? It was really good. I will most definitely use it again. But that is it for this video. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment, share, and subscribe.